Well, as you look ahead to the new year, things are going to get worse for buyers. And I'm going to tell you, coming up. Hi, Rick McCohen here with eXp Realty. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. Click that little bell so you know when I add new content because you don't want to miss updates on what's going on in this market. So why am I saying things are going to get worse? Well, right now we're at historic lows. You know that. We've been telling you that for a long time. But we're coming up on the holiday season. So the amount of inventory that's going to be available is going to get lower and lower as we get into November and December. We're already seeing that now, but we're not seeing buyers backing off. So the homes are getting gobbled up pretty doggone quick. This week we put on 3,700 homes. We bought and put under contract 4,000 homes. Oops, not enough homes came on the market. Normally we see inventory of like six months worth of supply. We're like within weeks of running out of homes. Every January we get more homes than the rest of the year. But it doesn't mean that that's a huge leap. So from January comparing back to December, we may increase our listings by 10 15%. In order for us to get the normal, we're going to have to triple the amount of homes that are for sale very quickly. And that's only to get past the bidding wars. So if we double our inventory, the bidding wars will start to back off a little. If we triple, we will definitely not have any more bidding wars. I don't see anything happening between now and January that's going to make us triple our inventory, especially now with COVID coming up. People are afraid to list their homes. They're hunkering down. They're either worried about their job or they just don't want people coming through their house. They're going to wait. We still have the election not certified yet. People are just hunkering down. Is all of this going to turn around in January? Nope. I don't see it. Now, for those of you that are out there just saying, oh, you realtors, you're always pushing it. It's a good time to buy. And so I'm just telling you what the numbers are. I don't care if you buy or if you sell. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm telling you what the numbers are going to look like so that you can make the decision. Because we had a crash in 2008 and everybody thinks we're headed that way. Let me show you what some uh, numbers that are out there that were shared by Michael Orr from the Cromford Report. He said in 2005, thousands of homes were being purchased and left vacant as they were snapped up by speculators. Do you see that happening today? Nope. 2005, rents were low and headed lower because there were more homes than people who wanted to live in them. We were building, 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 building. Nobody was moving into them. Do you see that happening now? In 2005, almost anyone could get a 100% loan with minimal documentation. You walk in and go, yeah, I have a job. I make 100000 a year. Super. Here's your loan. You don't see that happening now. In 2005, few people thought the market could decline. Nobody thought the market was going down in 2005. None of your neighbors, none of your workers at the water cool. Everybody said, if you don't buy now, you're never going to own a home. Mortgage fraud was rampant, creating artificial demand. Right now, vacancies are very low. Rents are high and rising sharply. Qualifying for a mortgage requires financial resources, you know, a job, and must be supported by documentation. And almost all homeowners have equity. None of this was true in 2005 and 2006. So the crash that you're all wishing and hoping for, there aren't any numbers out there that say it's coming anytime soon. Now, we can only tell you what's going to happen through 2021. We really don't know what's going to happen in 22 or 23. We can tell you that the Fed says that they're going to keep their rates low all the way through 2023. You can find all kinds of uh, justification that says that rates are going to go higher and that rates are going to go lower. We don't know. All we can do is look at what's happening today. And today, inventory is really low. The buyers are still buying and inventory does not look to improve in January. Now, if COVID manages to go away and we get a vaccination that works, how fast are listings going to come on? We don't know, but I don't see it being a massive flood that's going to get us to six months of inventory, which is considered a normal market. It's going to be a long time before we see that. So it's going to be tough for you buyers. So if you can't afford something, you have no choice but to sit it out. Now, for you sellers that don't want a lot of people walking through your house, do a one-day listing. Go to your agent and say, I only want to list my house for one day. I just want to put it on the market on Saturday and be done. I don't want people coming through all week. I don't want to have to keep the place clean. I, I just listed for one day. 
So your agent can have the photos taken. We can put it on what's called a coming soon, and we can let all the agents know, look, this house is going to be available to be looked at on Saturday from the hours of 10 to 5, and that's it. It's going off the market on Sunday. In this market, with this inventory, you'll sell your house, unless you price it ridiculously high. But it will sell in one day. Just let your realtor do an aggressive coming soon promotion. Just let people know, I'm not letting you in the door until 10 o'clock on Saturday. And then you can list your house and be done with it on one day. Trust me, in this market, that'll happen. If you have any questions, shoot me an email at rickatrickhelps.com. Smash the living daylights at that like button.